that's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood's black bone, crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why you always- In five years, this guy could be top 10 in the world, bro. Like, it's just incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to Ren. Checking out more of his catalog. We are live on Twitch, having a good time. Purple? Yeah, look at this. This is my first reaction to Ren. Check it out if you haven't. Ren, the tale of Jenny and Screech. Now, to a lot of people in the chat, this could be first introduction. That's a good thing, because the guy deserves more recognition. I'm gonna like the video. I will leave the link down below. Let's get into this. Dragging her feet, she was heading back home to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor, because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you play? Well, on the very same night, in a different place, there was this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old, and out of his brain, he'd been smoking gang with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid in the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. This, Jenny this uh, reminds me of, uh, is it Regulate? By Nate, Nate Dogg and Warren G. Was a comment uh, in the LBC, but a dun, but a dun, but a one and G. It just reminds me, it just gives me that that same. Uh, maybe it's influenced by that, or maybe it's just coincidental. All right, so this is this is definitely storytelling, right? Okay. Years old, the devil his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was a right, but it was like there was something in the air. Oh, a divine no. intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sound in the distance to the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it, bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady Jesus, man, yo. like liquid nitrogen in the dark night. She tried to find strength to move, but stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes. What the hell are you playing like? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God, I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks. You think I don't mean it, though? You don't know me. The last thing you see will be a boy call. Screech reach with the sheath of the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nantuck City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame Hold up, hold up, something, okay, okay, okay this is a goddamn movie, bro. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, if you guys haven't seen uh, the High Ren, I, I greatly, really advise people in the chat to check it out. If y'all are interested, I have, I did a first reaction to Ren uh, two weeks ago, and this shit was one of the fuck, one of my favorite reactions I've ever done. So, this is Sam Tompkins and Ren, but it's just nuts. Yeah, yeah. This is This is a man's world. 
I'm gonna leave the link for y'all there. So go save that, watch this after the stream, and go show love to Ren, okay? So what I wanted to say in the entire first segment, it's called Jenny. I wrote some things down. So this is going to be heavily story-based, just as the High Ren song was. But this is more following a certain linear storyline. Right? The, the High Ren one was him expressing how he deals with the, if I'm not mistaken, schizophrenia. I could be wrong. I have to do some more research on that. It's been a while since I recorded it. The switching between the characters uh, is is very impressive. Intonation, the playing uh, playing around with the different voices, the, like the aggressive, uh, what's his name? Screech, the aggressive, give me your money stuff. He really embodies the roles that he portrays or created. Not sure if this is based on a real story. Uh, expression. And, and the fact that he raps, sings, plays the guitar, I think this is all recorded live at the spot, so there's no pr production, post-production, I don't think so. And it's a one take. So that's, that's extremely uh, impressive. Takes a lot of skill to do what, uh, what he just uh, did. So we're continuing this right now. So this is Screech, Screech's tale. We just had Jenny's tale, so this is a different perspective, I guess. certified anthony hater <laughs> okay i paused it i know i ruined the, the damn build up my bad screech and he's screeching literally screeching with his uh, vocal cords all right and jenny clocked out like big ben big ben is a clock a big ass clock she clocked out like big ben i don't know if yeah that's just the bar clocked out big ben big ben clock i like that you know i like bars right on this channel run that back yeah, the chords were just magnifique. Ah, oh, story, it starts right to the end. Heard the life of poor Jenny clocked out like Big Ben. They screech, they boy, where did he go? He melted into the black night just like... Patrick man, let me in, please open the door I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up man I'm not sure, I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor I think I killed her Patrick, come on man, I can't knock no more But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind that does away Hey babe, are you in? No, nah, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who said that's his foot free. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. 
little boy running at him like an animal possessed With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest Bro. Ah, story it ends right to the star. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless, and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. We're witnessing art unfold before our, our very eyes, and y'all motherfuckers talking about Teen Wolf, man. Again, embodying the story, the character of the story, the screech, the way that this plays out. What is that called when it's like in, in musicals or some type of performances, they use whatever they have around to portray certain... For example, when he knocked on the door... Well, he knocked on the guitar, and he used that to symbolize him knocking on the door. You know, go, when he was on the phone with, with his, his gal, going crazy, saying, fuck you, you stupid, blah, blah, blah. It really showed what a person in that specific situation would sound like, like exactly like you believe him. He's convincing, the acting. Uh, it really seems like he just killed a woman in an alleyway, he stabbed her. Uh, and then everything just coming together in a very poetic way. And then the four shots with the guitar, strumming the guitar, the cameraman shaking, falling on the ground. That was some great work. That was really well done. Like, this is... This is, this is one of those stories, just like High Ren. I mean, but this was before High Ren, if I'm not mistaken, where you're just really taken uh, back by... Yeah, it's intriguing. You're taken back by what's going on. You're really just sitting there in silence, just watching, like, wow, this is uh, this is extremely captivating. Violet, what is this? Violet's tail. It's the same gown as a uh, Hyren. Every night he took a tie but never left the room 
I'll spare you of the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16. A semi detached council flat, paid for by your welfare scheme. Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks. She met a boy named Stevie, and he was a little brick. Violet was a silent girl, and Violet, she fell fast. See, Stevie was a wrong, and the Isha knew how to charm her. Every night he took a tie, but never left the room. History repeats itself, he'd paint her black and blue and dark. Oh, bro, this is epic. I gotta pause it once, man. She never stood a chance. The, what do you say? The devil in his dance, bro. <sighs> yeah, the sound arrangement. It's, it's, he, this is recorded live, bro. It's all like one take, man. I mean, of course, there's three different stories and each story has a, a take, so it's three takes, right? But it's the fact that he's, he just does it in one go. In one go. The amount of preparation this man must have, uh, have, have done to practice you know to perform this this well it's, it feels it feels so effortless 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 you know what i mean and then using the acoustic of the hallway and then the acoustic of the staircase nah bro that part right there and then at a certain point he switched it's like he switched characters it's like he got a grasp of of himself and or it just his demeanor changed never left the room history repeats itself he paint her black and blue and dark she never stood a chance the timing to get the there and do that the devil comes to dance the devil comes to dance huh? Violet why are you always so quiet on her bedroom door and he's tiring He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left her bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet, she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in as Violet's world turned to black the curtains closed the lights went dim in London City far from pretty 2005 a lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive a tragedy or a miracle it happened on these very streets two twins lying side by side A girl named Jenny and a boy named Screech.
Holy shit, bro. So the ending is the origin story of the first two stories. So we got the story of Te Jenny, we got the story of Screech, and then we got the story of Violet. And Violet, if I get this correctly, Violet is the mother of Jenny and Screech, and Jenny and Screech are twins. But since Violet wasn't there to take care of Jenny and Screech, they both got sent to foster homes or whatever it is, right? And they didn't know they were related. But then Screech stabs Jenny to death and then Screech dies in the street. So they both meet a fate as tragic as their mother. Without knowing that their mother, that they have the same mother. Is that the explanation? Is that the story? Jen is this how it starts? Is it the exact same street? No. It just looks like it starts in a similar location. Perhaps it is just a street apart. And the fact that... So Jenny and Screech were both born in the same location and they both died a street apart. Perhaps around the same location where the mother died. This man is like a modern bard. Exactly! No lip sync, no no backing track, no lip syncing. It was just straight up talent, bro. And at the end, the devil part, bro, bars. That was just straight up bars, rhyming, multi-syllabic. It was just the dog. It's it's. I was watching a movie, man. It was a uh, theater. I was watching theater. Is this was incredible? I'm just trying to find somebody who can confirm what I think this story is about. Perhaps it is. Perhaps I'll just wait and I'll just write it down and ask him myself. This part right here with like the devil where she dies, bro, that is sick. I mean, this part right here was sick. This was a f insane. Incredible. Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's tiring. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut, you fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet. Why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent. Things turn violent. That's the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force. The way he picked that shit up, that the way he resumed the flow on that, bro, that was nasty. That, I mean, it's not nasty, but it was just... Whew. Up, Violet. Why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent. Things turn violent. Yeah, yeah, request still open, Desiree. I'm just like, I'm doing this one because this was something I had to do. Uh... I wanted to do and I had to do for uh, I got like a list of things that I have to do. I have to check and this was one of them, brother. She's amazing. Island. That's the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, nick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detach, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but fists connect and disconnect the bone. A quick deflect, the misdirect. What the f did he just say, bro? That was just that was some rapper shit bars right there. Now rhyming there was nasty. He just went. Bone crack, nick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spot, detach, fist connects and disconnects a bone. Fist connects and disconnects the bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow. A quick direct to misdirect the blow. Or deflect. But nonetheless, his punches met her throat. But nonetheless, his punches met her throat. Such a mess, he's left the bruised and broke. Such a mess, he's left the bruised and broke. Like, he's rapping right here. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. The switching is insane. It's fucking dope. Wait, say something, Violet. Not one word, she stays quiet. Bro, this is awesome. This is amazing. This is amazing. London 
city, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, she was nine months gone. Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried. If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive. The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in. As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim in London City. Far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive. A tragedy or a miracle, it happened on these very streets. Two twins aligned side by side. A girl named Jenny and a boy named Screech. This is amazing. Uh, how many views does it have? Not enough. But the thing is, you could say like, oh, underrated, underrated. He is underrated. 634,000. But I don't think the algorithm has yet worked in his favor to really just get him out there on the map. Also, I think it's a lot of independent uh, work he's doing, not tied to a label. I, d I don't know. I'm just speculating here. Absolutely, it needs more. Uh, imagine one of the BTS members dropping something as incredible as this. They'd be crowned uh, king of the world, right? So... His talent is is out of this world. This is uh, the the shit he's doing here is so original. It's so perhaps unheard of, combining serious skill, uh, you know, vocal talent, with serious rapping abilities. Like this guy can spit bars. That it needs to be pushed to the mainstream, while remaining independent. I think he just should do everything independently, but he should be pushed to the mainstream more. And I think social media is the perfect tool for that because his high Ren uh, song did go viral, if I'm not mistaken. Here, 2.6 million uh, uh, views one month ago. I know it's my duty and the same as other like reaction channels and, and and whoever like a cliff beats or a stevie knights mr lloyd b reacts uh that singer reacts it's our duty to push this not because only because this guy is very humble and he replies to every reaction that's done about him and in a humble fashion but just because we need we have some power some ability to just push this forward and any view because y'all didn't know about him even though he's got half a million subscribers which is something, but it's it's it. There's it's relatively nothing compared in just uh, modern modern day social media, right? But a lot of y'all didn't know about him, and there's like I think maybe five or ten people that I've put onto Ren right now. It's not that much, but every little bit helps. And I think if if we all do this as a collective, as reaction channels, and we just shine more spotlight on him, we can att attribute uh, while gaining views and all. You know, I mean. But I just really want to see this guy blow up and and be like as big as Post Malone, for example, right? Or collaborate with some of the greatest artists because of the traction he's getting now. And it's also a little bit thanks to reaction channels, but it's mainly just because of his own individual talent, this and that. He doesn't need us, but we, I feel like we have a duty to help any way possible. In five years, this guy could be top 10 in the world, bro. Like, it's just incredible. Y'all gotta watch High Ren. You have to watch High Ren. If you, if you like this, please watch High Ren. It's the first time that I saw about this guy. So a lot of artists who deserve more appreciation, but don't have the push behind them to make it happen.